Hello and welcome back to Entrepreneur Talks Podcast. Season 1 episode will be written on the information of this podcast. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook by Women Flicks and Entrepreneur Talks Podcast. Feel free to drop a message if you would like to be our guest, if you would like to get our services, and if you would like to share your vision. Women Flicks, Yola Bastos, and I hope you enjoy our session today. Roshana Price. She is a certified coach, international speaker, and an author of the book, Be a Giver of Awesomeness. Roshana works with people. With her belief and lifestyle, she focuses on defining bullying behaviors to support growth and healing for all she encounters. Her approach allows her clients to conduct deep explorations into their bullying situations and uncover hidden talents, increase confidence, and safer behaviors to move forward. If you would like to get in touch with Roshana, all the information about Roshana will be on the description on this podcast. But for now, let's welcome Roshana Price. Hello, Roshana. Welcome to my podcast. I'm so glad that you're here today with me. Thank you so much. Thank you, Tatiana, for having me. I'm excited to be here. Amazing. Yes. So Rox- Roshana, on your sorry about my about my 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 way of saying your name. Uh, sometimes maybe it's gonna go on the other way. I don't know. If I no, don't more- apologize. I love your accent. It's great. No, just free flow with it. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, because if I say it wrong, just tell Yola. No, it's not a Yola Tatiana. I'm Yola Tatiana. Yep. So Yola, yes. Feel free to call me either Yola or Tatiana, but tell me, Tatiana, you're not saying it right because. I love to say people's names in the right way. So that will make a huge difference if you let me know if I'm telling you right or wrong. Okay. Okay. (laughs) So after your introduction, I already done your introduction on the podcast. So everyone knows your, 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 what you do in life, but I want to, I want to ask you what is the, so people can understand more what exactly deeply what you do as a as a woman as a business person as a business woman who is a giver of awesomeness is that correct awesome. yes giver of awesomeness yes i love it <laughs> <laughs> yes so as the giver of awesomeness what i teach other people to do is find their inner awesomeness and give it to the world around them oh. and usually we don't have opportunities to do that that's what I do. That must be, at the same time, when you say that, take your awesomeness and give to other people, right? So, right, because, right, share it. Because the more you give it, the act, the more powerful it becomes. So what's the ways to give your awesomeness? Like through what, how? Through, well, it depends on what it is. So I help my clients deeply understand the ways in which that they are awesome the way that they're winning in life and why they might actually be getting bullied or made to feel small because of their their gift that awesomeness that they have okay because when you said that give your awesomeness i was thinking okay even a smile like i will be giving awesomeness with my smile or with my hug with my happiness right absolutely it, it could be your presence your ability to be in a room some people walk into a room and they just transform the energy that's their awesomeness it, it could be that they are a still spirit and so when they come in they calm a room 
it could be in their mind and how they think about a challenge and they solve a problem. It could be anything, any piece of you that is authentic, that is powerful, and that shifts atmospheres is your awesomeness. And you, if when you learn what it is, you yeah. can not only give it, but you can also guard and protect it so that you can then give more of it. And it's a cycle. Wow. How long you've been doing this? Must be an amazing experience you've been going through. Man, I mean, so I've been a professionally full-time two and a half years as a coach and speaker, but I've got about 12 and a half, 13 years of professional experiences where I honed this awesomeness and realized this was my gift. Oh, wow. Jess, I can feel in your words, the way you, you talk. It's amazing. <laughs> I'm like, wow, I want to be in the same room. We actually are the same in the same room right now, and I feel powerful because your words amazing thank you <laughs> yes absolutely i love it i mean it's who i'm called to be in this world i can't be anybody else oh awesome so what made you write a book that talks about bullying on so many levels i had to really own my own story first and mm -hmm. so a friend of mine asked me to speak at a conference and i really just thought it was my own story and after i was off the stage, I had about 20 minutes. And when I came off stage, women were lined up to buy my book and I didn't have a book. And so I went home and wrote a book because I said, Lord, if these women are waiting for me, then I need to go ahead and do this. Amazing. Yeah. Amazing. That was it. Four so, months later, uh, published a book. Yeah. Oh, wow. Months later. It's no way. Yes. Yeah, months later. Wow. Four, yeah, four months later, I tell people now, like, if you have a story, go ahead and write it. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be a full, it doesn't have to be elaborate to change someone's life. It doesn't have to be something that is published by a major publishing company. Your words matter and you can change someone's life, the trajectory of their their next step by putting your words out there. And, and that's what I committed to doing. And so I did it and it, it has changed people's lives. And I'm honored for that. It's amazing. So could you, do you want to share a little bit of your Be A Giver of Awesomeness book? Because it's that book that tells us about your story or is another book? Uh, yeah, this book. Uh, so I love superheroes. Let me just share that. Yeah. And <laughs> I love them. And so when I was going through my process to understand why I kept finding myself where I was crying in the bathroom and feeling small and feeling rejected. I ended up watching a couple of superhero movies and then I thought about all of the stories and the encounters that I had with the bullies in my life. And I created these awesome mysterious. Mm. And these are the characters in the book. Um, and that's why I wanted to write the book because a lot of the adult women that I was speaking with could relate to the behaviors, but they didn't have words to put with them to say, oh my gosh, this is what's happening to me. Yeah. Like yeah. That. Let me read a little bit for you and the audience. Please do. Absolutely. It says, I realize that people when hurt can feel small, insignificant, and out of control. I also noticed that a hurt woman in power is dangerous. Women in power hurt other women when they forget or refuse to place limits on what they will and won't say. When they say what they feel without carefully measuring the reverberating consequences of their words on the lives of others. Emptiness is what happens when our lives collide into a woman who means well, but does mean well. Wow. Amazing. Wow. Thank you. I really, oh, I'm like, wow. Your book, how can I, no, we will come to this because I was about to ask you how I'm going to get your book, but I know how to get your book. But this is, this is amazing. So you wrote, your book is written in a way to, to embrace or to, to, to make women to feel themselves if they can relate themselves, right? It's not just about your story. You're not telling a story, correct? Um, yeah, I'm not just telling my story. I'm telling my story as the foundation on which others can feel brave 
to tell their story and own it. Oh, right. Yeah. That's and what... own it. Yes. That's amazing. And when you, you say, you said to me, one of the questions I've got here for you is, um, share with us some of the awesomeness stealers from your book. What is oh, the- yes. Yes. I'll, <laughs> so I have a favorite <laughs> and I get so excited every time because I don't know about you, but have you ever had a bully boss in your life? Um, I'm a very strong person. I don't, oh, good. I, I, I can't remember, I can't remember someone bullying me or either bullying someone around me because I will change the environment straight away. I always been like this since every, I remember myself when I was young and going to the club with my best friends and guys coming. I remember this so clear. Like one of the things would be, I'm always there to block this kind of ridiculous situations and my friends, even if he's my, with my dogs or with my mom or with my friends or with my colleagues or my teachers, someone that I really like, or even when I didn't like. So I, I don't remember myself getting bullied at all. Oh, okay. Uh, so let me share with you and the listeners because the minimizer is one of the characters. And while you may not have encountered them, I think some of the listeners and one of the favorites that when I'm talking, people are like, oh my God, that happened to me, Mm -hmm. uh, is the minimizer. So a minimizer, I I define all the awesomeness characters and the minimizer is a person that gets joy out of making you feel small. Uh Uh-huh. So I've been on bullying then. (laughs) I remember now. (laughs) (laughs) You want to change, you change your answer now? (laughs) because the bullying has so many different ways of being bullied so yes I had someone done that to me and I couldn't understand why 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 but now I got it carry on carry on Rishana oh it's good (laughs) the minimizer so let's go for the minimizers (laughs) minimizer yes so the minimizer bully boss and I'll share with you the impact of it. So one day after a meeting with my bully boss, my blood pressure was 155 over 87. Mm. The vein in my, yeah, the vein in my neck was pushing so hard you could see it. And I had a pounding headache. I was sick from the inside out. And to most people, I seemed just a little stressed, Mm -hmm. but I knew that it was different. I knew this minimizer was threatened and was trying to do everything they could to put me in my place. Mm -hmm. That is the power of what a minimizer can do. and, And they try to keep you small and they get joy out of it. And I talk about later in the book that it, I'm actually on page 57, it says, right, my boss was killing me, not my job. I loved the work. Yeah. It was challenging. I wasn't always right, I wasn't always wrong, but I was made to feel like I wasn't good enough. Yeah, got it. That's the minimizer. I can relate with this situation, but Ah. yes, I totally can. But what are you saying about, I love that, that you call them minimizers because they are really minimizers, but till you get to the point you understand they are minimizers not the main like they are not bigger than you because when you say minimizers for me makes me remember that they are minimum (laughs) they're not that important in my life because some people get frustrated and they they take their lives away or they do something to themselves because they are afraid of this boss afraid of this minimizer because they they take them like in control of their own lives and Mm -hmm. This is powerful. This word minimizer. I just love it. <laughs> yeah, they definitely yeah. minimizers in our lives, no? Something yes. like that. Oh, okay. So yeah. they are the stealers and at the same those time. Those are the stealers, yes. And there's four other characters in the book. And like we talked about, even in your situation, before that definition, you wouldn't have necessarily thought about those people in your life that made you feel small as well. Yeah, <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, that's so true, yeah. Yeah, and most adults don't. Most adults, especially when I'm speaking and talking, they're like, oh, bullying, like that happens when I was a kid or that happened when I was young. 
but it could be happening to you in your family, at work, with your friend group. And it, anytime you're with an awesomeness feeler, you know it because you start to shrink back in some way. You start to yes. say to yourself, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be as loud or I'm not gonna share my next win or I'm not gonna say that or do that. And so then you start to shift who you are. Yeah. And that helps then. And then you aren't able to give your awesomeness when you really should give your awesomeness. Amazing, Roshana. <laughs> because you just remember me. Like, you're just telling me my story in a way, like, a year, two years ago almost. I was there with this minimizer. And I, that's why I, I am here today. That's oh. why I created Woman Flix. That's why I've got my own company in beauty therapist. And I'm like, yes, this minimizer, minimizer made me the awesomeness woman <laughs> in the world. <laughs> I feel powerful because I didn't allow this minimizer, <laughs> this stealer, or I don't know how to call it. But this is so true. Oh, I'm so... Yeah, ready. Yola, the, the truth is, is that they knew you had all of that in you. That's why they came for you in the first place. Mm. Wow. Yeah. The, the bullies in our lives see us even sometimes before we see ourselves. That's why they come. Yeah. Yeah. They might not be able to articulate it. They might not be able to, to say it in the way that helps us move forward, which is why they do the things that they do. Mm. But if they come for you and, they're, and you have a pattern in your life where people are coming for you, that is the sign that you have awesomeness. And you've got to figure out what it is and then give it to the world. And that's what I help my clients do. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. wow. <laughs> so tell me, what is the, you are a certified coach, an international speaker, but when you work with the coaching in the coaching side, how do you, do you do the one-to-one or do you do online? And what is the, 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 the age range? So the age range is I've worked primarily most of my clients are between 25 and 55. Okay. And they are in a place where we have to have conversation and go deep into the work. And that's what we do. Okay. That's how we make that happen. And so I either do one-on-one -on -one coaching or small group coaching where uh, everyone commits to the confidentiality if it's in a group. Oh, fantastic. So you do groups as well. Mm, yeah. And everything is online and Zoom calls and all of that. Um, but we go, I tell like when I'm working through the the first to see if it's a good fit as a coach, yeah. um, we talk about the work that has to happen to erode all the stuff that's been there, the stories, the lies, because sometimes we believe the lies of our awesomeness dealers and our bullies. And yeah. we have to go into those stories. And that's what I love is helping people go, is that really the truth? And if so, then let's find evidence. If not, let's look at how we can use their words to actually help us find our awesomeness because they leave us clues in the things that they say to us. Wow. Yeah, definitely. Yes. You love coffee and chocolate. Hmm. Right? <laughs> Reading yes. <from> the description. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm drinking coffee now. <laughs> yes. You know. I know a lot of people that love coffee, but they don't like chocolate or they love co chocolate. They don't like coffee, but you are a lover of chocolate and coffee. Yeah, so, yeah, it, uh, dark chocolate specifically, and yeah. co coffee with cream. And I, yes, I will work for coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and you do a lot of puzzles, I can see. Yeah, you jigsaw, jigsaw puzzles. Yes, it's a, my favorite pastime. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. uh, I saw here on your description again that you sent me. You saying. Um, your systematic approach allow, allows your clients to conduct deep explorations into their bullying situations and uncover hidden talents, increasing confidence and C-A-F-E-R, safer behaviors to move forward. Is this C-A-F-E-R is just safer or is something else? Behind. It's actually a part of, it's an acronym that I use. So SAFER is the full acronym and uh, the approach we use breaks down those five letters into action that, that my clients can leave with every time. So when, after we finish a session, we've gone through the model. And so if nothing else, when they're in the moment, when you've encountered a bully and you get, your stomach starts to turn and your armpits start to sweat or 
your mind starts to raise, you can think safer. I can be safer in this moment. Okay, that's good. Really good. And for one more question. Well, I've got one, two more questions for you. Okay, plus, yeah. <laughs> what is one thing that listeners need to know about their adult bullying experiences? What you would you like to say? I want every listener to know that if you've had a conversation in your mind with your bully of what you thought you could have said, or oh, I, you've swirled around of I should have, I could have, you don't have to live in that torment. That you can actually go back into that moment in your mind and go through it and unlock and unleash yourself and be, be free from that moment and move forward with your awesomeness. You can. So anyone that is listening today or will listen afterwards, our podcast, please, if, you, if you're going through something similar, like we've been talking about today here, get in touch with Roshona or even get in touch with us, Women Flakes, and we can, we can get you from there and help you and send you to Roshona or anything. Just come to us as women. We are here to help. We are here to embrace your situation and support you in all the ways we can, possible we can. So that's amazing. Thank you so much, Roshona, for this moment. It was amazing to talk to you. I'm so glad. Thank you, Yola. This was, uh, this was amazing. I appreciate you and all that you're doing to empower women across the globe. So definitely keep giving your awesomeness and your minimizer. They just set you up for success that's so true yeah that's that's what they've done to us <laughs> so now hold on hold on they they need to hold on their seats and stay there quiet and live their lives because we are living our best lives for sure Absolutely. so yeah how can people find you then so let's yes yeah, so you You can find me on Facebook and Instagram as Giver of Awesomeness. And you can also visit my website, RoshannaPrice.com. Oh, I've got a website here, GiverofAwesomeness.com. Awesomeness. Yep, GiverofAwesomeness.com is also where you can find information about the book and other bullying resources. Okay, this is about book. And then your own um, website is Roshana Price. Right. Com. Yes. .com. It's just for everyone is listening so they know, they understand where they need to go. But at the same time, all the information will be on the description of this podcast, which will be live on the end. Let me see if I don't make a mistake. We'll be live very soon, which is on Mar March, I think, the first Saturday of March. But I will confirm and you follow us and you keep in touch with us. Just keep on track, uh, tracking our podcast sessions with these amazing women. And we will be always every week sending you a new podcast session. Roshona, thank you again. God bless you. Keep inspiring other women and, and other people around the world and be the change. Thank you. Thank you, Yola. I speak and I hope I speak with you soon again. We will keep in touch, definitely. And yes, we go from there. God bless you. Yes, God Thank bless you. you too. Thank you. <laughs> okay. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for listening to our podcast session today. Uh, if you would like to come back and listen again, You can find us on Anchor, you can find us on Spotify, you can find us on Apple iTunes. You can also go through our pages on Facebook or Instagram and they will be there. Follow us, share and leave your comments if you feel like. We would love to know more what you think about the, the podcast and if you would like to be our guest or if you are willing to create your own business or struggling or just want to pump a jump a change in your life <laughs> okay speak with you soon take care bye see you next week